so we have a rod that is rotating with omega about one of its ends so let's say about this it's rotating with omega we need to, we need to determine the tension in the rod as a function of distance r and the total elongation of the rod rho and y of the material is known so first let's determine tension so for that we are going to use the concept of centrifugal force or let's say centripetal acceleration so whatever is the tension at the distance x which is what we need to find determine the tension as a function of distance r from the rotation axis so from the rotation axis whatever is the tension that tension is responsible for the centripetal acceleration of this part of the bar so by geometry if uh, the total length is l so if this is x this is l minus x so the center of mass of this part of the bar is at a distance x plus l minus x by 2 and its acceleration will be omega square t so t is this this distance so now we can say the tension will be simply mass of this part of the rod times a so f is equal to ma on this section of the rod so tx is equal to mass of this section that is l minus x upon l into m into acceleration omega square t omega square t so if you put the value of t here this is the answer we are going to get now for the second part find the elongation of the rod so just like the previous problem because it's rotating about this axis the tension here is going to be maximum because that tension is responsible for the centripetal acceleration of the whole rod and as you move away the tension is going to be less and less so if stress is reducing the strain on that section will also reduce so we cannot directly write the strain for the whole rod we need to integrate so just like in the previous problem we are going to take an element at a distance x whose width is dx and within that element dx let's say the change in length is d delta l now in this diagram i have drawn the arrows in the wrong direction let me correct that yes so tension will be pulling the rod apart so the dx in the dx part of this bar the elongation is d delta l so on the dx element now we can write our standard formula stress by strain is equal to y so stress will be t upon s and strain will be d delta l by dx so if you put the value of uh, tension at distance x what we found here we'll get a relation between x and delta l by integration so we do that and limits of x will be from 0 to l and limits of delta l will be from 0 to delta l so we integrate and get our answer so in any problem where the stress varies over the length of the rod we need to find and take an element and within that element we need to find the change in length and thus we get the relation between x and delta l and then we integrate to the values uh, we integrate and put the limits of x and delta l to get our answer all right